Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today we're going to learn about unicellular and multicellular living organisms. We already know that all living beings are made up of cells, but many of them are formed by a single cell. They are called micro or unicellular organisms. Although they are very simple organisms, they live independently. That is, they perform all the vital functions by themselves. Do you remember what those functions are? Very good! Nutrition, relationship and reproduction. Examples of unicellular beings are bacteria and protozoa. Some of these organisms are capable of manufacturing their own food, but most feed on other living beings. They are so small that they can only be seen through a microscope, which is why they are called microbes or microorganisms. The truth is that they are a little bad for us human beings because they cause disease. But others are very beneficial, as those who turn milk into yogurt or cheese. Hmm, so good! Living organisms that are formed by more than one cell are called multicellular, such as plants or animals. All the cells of these organisms are alive. They feed on the substances they take through the membrane and they reproduce by increasing in size and dividing in two. Besides, many can move. The cells are very diverse and are grouped into biological tissues depending on their shape and function. Two examples of biological tissues are epithelial tissue, skin, and muscle tissue, our muscles. These organs, in turn, are grouped into systems, such as the respiratory system or the digestive system. Well, friends, now you know about unicellular and multicellular beings. Easy, huh?